125 foot lift. Got all the safety inspections done on it. This morning we have a 12 strand single mode fiber optic cable to install between two E houses. Right now I'm over at the lay down yard where we keep our reels of fiber, picking up the reel we need for today. Then we'll head over to the job site, check out the lift and get started. Here's our lay down yard where we keep a bunch of uh, fiber cables from previous jobs, from upcoming jobs. Just keep stuff in stock in case there's a damaged cable or new projects that come up in our office. Getting everything loaded up. Fiber domes, pigtails, brackets, housings, water. Getting ready to load everything up on the van, head over to the job site. Got the lift checked out, 125 foot lift. Got all the safety inspections done on it. Uh, now we're over here at the job site, getting ready to start pulling the cable between the two E-houses. Give you a view of the E-houses here. So there's our lift. There's the E-house there. Pull that cable up. Route it on cable tray. And we'll go into that E-house right there. Got the reel of fiber down there. Door's got it attached. About to bring some rollers up. Got the 125 foot lift. Got it over here in the spot where we're pulling the cable from. The cable's coming from over there. I've routed it down this tray right here. Got a roller in that corner. Now I'm going to extend the cable over. Take that cable tray right there. That's going to go over and down into the E house. Got the fiber cable pulled in. As I was bringing the lift back. We just stopped and we're going to do a few camera maintenance items. Swap out this dome right here with a new dome. You see how dirty that, that is. We'll replace that with a new one. Should be good to go. So we got the cable installed. Now we're just routing the cable from the outside of the e-house into the inside. And then we'll get it prepped and ready to be spliced. We're going to be fusion splicing a pigtail to the feeder fiber that we just pulled in. And we'll get it all prepped and ready today. We'll be splicing first thing in the morning. This is the hole where the fiber is coming up through the floor of the E house. Got the knockout in the floor panel now. Got the Milwaukee knockout set. That's a clean hole. Right there. Now we'll push the fiber. Push it up through the hole. Okay. Go ahead. Keep on keeping on. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Nice and easy. A little bit more, keep going. A little bit more, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, there it is, straight. You need more, I got more. Just getting everything loaded up. We'll go over the plan for tomorrow. Call it a day. Got finished with day one of this job at about 6, 6.30. Came to the campground, the KOA, near where I'm working at. I'm going to stay here tonight and get up early and start start back at it again tomorrow. Just out exploring the campground. This is a nice KOA. They got a bunch of cabins, a bunch of tent sites, a bunch of sites on the water. Very nice campground. Definitely recommend if you're in the Newburn, North Carolina area. I have site number six. There's only one other person tent camping.
so we got one side of the e-house terminated or spliced now we're at the other e-house working on it uh, getting it spliced up then we'll test label certify move on got this one going into this enclosure that's some existing fiber these this is our new housing pigtail landed on the panel pigtail routed out right now it's routing over to the table getting spliced fiber labeled got it landed on the new panel got the jumpers installed labeled ready to be connected setting up the OTDR so we can test certified fiber got everything spliced up put the splicer away Got everything tested, labeled, all strands tested good.